A man accused of shooting and killing the son of a high-ranking police official is now being held without bail. He was arraigned early this morning. Meantime, a funeral will take place to today for the victim. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live at St. Albert the Great Church in Lower Moreland, where the funeral for Nicholas Flacco will be held. Trang, good morning. Hey, good morning, Jan and Jim. Tyquan Atkinson faces a slew of charges this morning, including murder and criminal conspiracy. After police finally caught up to him yesterday, his arrest involving the use of a fire truck. Meanwhile, here at St. Albert, the great church and school, the school will be closed today as they're expecting huge crowds to pay their final respects to Nicholas Flacco. A four-day manhunt for an accused killer came to an end in dramatic fashion Wednesday evening at a Delaware County strip mall. We noticed uh, a few dozen actual police cars started to show up. I heard footsteps on our roof. We went outside and uh, we were told, instructed to go back in. Sure. And uh, that's when it started to escalate. That was just before 6 p.m. Jamie Joseph and Adam Gimbel were at their business, Phantom Fireworks in Upland. The footsteps they heard overhead turned out to be U.S. Marshals and Philadelphia police officers in hot pursuit of 19-year-old Taekwon Fats Atkinson, the prime suspect in the murder of Nicholas Flacco, the 20-year-old son of a Philadelphia police chief inspector. We peeked out, seen everything was okay, seen they apprehended him, and then went outside and caught some video. They captured this video of officers using using a fire truck ladder to bring a handcuffed Atkinson down from the roof of the business next door. Police say Atkinson shot Flacco in the chest Saturday night in FDR Park, where Flacco and his friends were celebrating the Phillies' win. Basically, you had a girl fight, which turned into a guy fight. A fight between women broke out nearby, and one woman threatened to call her man. Police say when Atkinson showed up, Flacco's friends dared the suspect to shoot, thinking his gun wasn't real. Flacco was rushed to Penn Presbyterian Hospital, where he died. Now Atkinson is facing murder, criminal conspiracy, and firearms charges, and the community is a little more at ease. Definitely very uh, happy that they uh, caught the guy, got him off the streets. Flacco's funeral is set for 9 a.m. here at St. Albert the Great Church with a funeral mass to follow at noon. For now, we're live from Lower Moreland Township. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jim and Jan, back to you. Thank you, Trang.